you listen here, you Jersey boy. I don't know where you got that last name from, but that don't sound like no last name I ever heard of in Buncombe County. Mm-hmm. You sure you ain't related to that Sherman? Sherman? Mm-hmm. About 150 years ago, he marched through here and burnt my granddaddy's home place down. Yep. No, I am not related to any shaman. <laughs> and I didn't burn your grandpappy's home place down. Anyway, that was a long time ago, and we're on the same side now. Okay, well, we've gotten through Nauta Catalina, and it's getting flatter, okay? We're out of all those mountains. My ears can go back to normal again. Ooh. should be so lucky one day. Large hand blown, Stuben Aureen Lusterware uh, in stretch. Look at that, 635. I want that. Ooh. But I'm not having it. Eh. I'm always looking for things that are unusual and things that you don't see every day. Here's one that I don't see every day. He looks fierce. Um, this is like a paper mache composite pressed paper owl. And I can see he's $95. Um, he's old. He's probably from the 40s. Come here to me, you. Sometimes these were used I don't know if he was actually manufactured as a decoration or if he was manufactured as um, a decoy or to scare away other bits and pieces of nature. <laughs> I'm trying to think. What's the owl? There was, years ago, there was somebody used to hang up plastic owls and it would scare something away. I can't remember which. I will tell you where I am as soon as I get outside and take a picture of the front of this building. But I happen to be in a state other than New Jersey. Yeah, I'll tell you in a minute. But I can tell you right now, I'm gonna like what I see here. It's right up my street. First of all, there's a Victrola, there's a Victor box. Wow. A crate, rather. So the Victor talking machines were shipped uh, in crates like this. The, the cabinets actually had threaded screw holes in the very back of the cabinet of the machines, you know, the floor models, not the little table models. And they were actually bolted to the crate and then when it, when the Victrolas got to uh, the music store, the job or whatever, they would uh, take the screws out and put little decorative mahogany wooden plugs into the holes in the back of the cabinet. So you'd never know that, that it was originally screwed, actually screwed into the wooden crate so it wouldn't slide around on the train. That's a nice big old RCA. Um, and $300, yeah. Okay, um, press my buttons, and now I'll pass. Mm-hmm, that's another big floor model. Uh, see this, I'm always, when it says all radios work, I'm not really concerned if they work or not. I'm concerned as to whether they have been restored. That's the key. All right, we won't get on that soapbox. 120 for that. Mm. All right. Mm. Ooh, okay. 
coming through the rye. I'm about ready to trip on a scooter. What did I want to look at? Look at that fan. Mmm, 485. Poo. Well, this is charming and quaint. At the same time, sentimental, old fashioned. And we've come a long way, baby. <laughs> but I still think it's charming. Uh, home sweet home. It's $125. Oh, there's a glare. So you're not seeing it. Uh, here is uh, the love of mother. You can see there's captions. So this is the love of mother. And there's home sweet home. And what have we got here? Oh, the cares of a mother. Mm. To soothe and beguile. You don't hear the word beguile much anymore. Look at the hearth. There she is with baby and the little daughter saying her prayers. And of course the kitten has to be t playing with something. An exile from home. Ah, splendor dazzles in vain. Oh, yes. How sweet the remembrance. And there it is. To thee I'll return, overburdened with care. Home sweet home. Look at that. Oh, look, there I am. <laughs> Not awful. <laughs> oh, there I am. Oh, well. I like that. Look at all of the ruby flashed souvenir glass. I've got to study it and see if we can find Mildred from Hoboken. There has to be a Mildred from Hoboken. Let's see. Well, we have a new Philadelphia, Ohio. I didn't know there was a new Philadelphia. What does that say? That says uh, Blenheim, New York, I think. All right, let's get down here. Okay, there's Elizabeth, 1913. Francis Elizabeth, 1913. Aren't these fun? Uh, who's that? Ina, 1907? Is that Ina? My father had a great aunt, Ina. I guess I have a great, great aunt, Ina. Look at that one. A lap. Hmm. All right, I'm not finding any 1916. I'm not finding my Mildred from Hoboken yet. Dorothy, 1905. Wouldn't it be great if it said Kansas? There's Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. There's Lena. Aunt Lena. Let's see what's down here. Uh, Lita. 19th. Who's this? Gerald? Right? White City? Chicago? Chicago? Oh, now let me creep over here. Okay, I'm not going to do this much longer. Oh, look. Oh, Ada. 1951. That's late. I didn't know they were still doing it in 1951. 1947. These are, I'm learning something new. I thought this went out of fashion by the time we got into the 30s. Uh, look, Winnie. Winnie, 1924. 1905. Oh, there's Niagara Falls. It's, isn't Winnie's granddaughter, isn't Dee? Dee's granddaughter named Winnie. She won't want that. Dee won't. Dee doesn't collect... I've talked to Dee about that before, because every time I see something Niagara Falls... Oh, there's old Mabel. 194. Um, every time I see something from Niagara Falls, people say, Oh, get it for Dee, get it for Dee. But, um... Underwood? She's not a huge Niagara Falls collector. It has to be specific things. 
uh, you know, so I don't want to load her down with a bunch of cheap souvenir pieces. So anyway, well, that was fun. Okay, no Mildred from Hoboken. You know, I don't know if you've ever tried it or not, but filming inside of uh, an antique store is very difficult because there's so much to see and um, I can't turn the camera as fast as I can turn my own head. Well, I could, but you would be on the floor with seasickness. It's really difficult because you just have to zoom in on a few things at a time. Uh, that says fixture cover for $10. Very nice, 1930s, 40s. I wish there were two, but anyway. Oh, I love interior shots, they're so much rarer than regular old portraits. There he is, reading his paper, and she's about to give him a cup of coffee. Look at that face! Wow, that almost looks staged. Hmm. Yeah, that looks funny. Anyway, uh, it can be challenging, as I said, to film when you're in an antique shop. Oh, there I am. Heh. <laughs> anyway. Desk set. That's 145. Look at this. And the tag says, rare. Newly rewired Art Deco lamp with hand-painted globe, $125, $185. Ooh, that is really heating up. Ah, I might recommend they put in one of those light bulbs that don't heat up. Because that is pumping out a lot of heat. Anyway, I guess it'll be all right. Um, gosh, if it were... That's nice. I'd love it if the colors were different. This says, this is cute, vintage shelf, and it's $20. And it is made of me metal. Be cute for a kitchen. Yeah, I don't need it. Because I don't have any corners left in my kitchen where I can put anything like that. 1930s print over there. That's not bad for 20 bucks on that. That's a nice kitchen light. Okay. Two, 255 on the mid-century lamp. Uh, let's see what else is back here. How about that little baby head? Is that a little rubber? It's turned hard, yeah. No? Doll head, 15 bucks. Poor thing. What is this for 20? Ooh, I like the uh, theater masks. Oh, but isn't there supposed to be a tragic and a comedy? Why are they both mad? $25 on that. What do they say? They don't say anything. All right. See, now I want to I turn around quickly, but I have to turn you around very slowly. And now I can move on to the next spot. Well, you can see it's a big place sorry I was trying to get you to see the size of it without actually filming people so yes and I still haven't told you where I am I guess you can see there I'm at the antique marketplace 27 something galleries I don't know but anyway it's the antique marketplace and it is on the outskirts of Greensboro North Carolina, on the outskirts of Greensboro, North Carolina. It's a big place. Oh, lamps. How about a lovely ceramic uh, German flower frog? She is uh, probably from the 30s. She's $52, but she's 20% off. I like her. Hmm, just highlighting a few things that catch my eye. The Art Deco lamp 
is $420. Wow. Whamma lamma ding dong. Okay. Here's some elegant depression. That's pretty. Is it? Oh, it's reduced. It's 58 bucks. Sorry, my camera goes in and out of focus and it's out right now. Okay, this is for the last time. It is Cambridge Rose Point. Cambridge Rose. Cambridge Rose Point. Where is it? Hmm. Well, everybody, I'm back in a different antique store now because as I was driving, um, I came upon a pretty bad storm and I said, ooh, I better pull off. You know, the windshield wipers are going full speed. Anyway, I'm just on the other side of uh, Knoxville. I believe I'm almost in Cooksville. I think I've got that right. And there's this great big antique mall. So here I am. And this time I'll be certain. Oh, look at that. I'll be certain to go outside and tell you where I am before I leave. Well, it's always fun to just do some little uh, price comparisons, you know, when you're out of town. Uh, so I don't really know what I should look at. Uh, here's various lusterware pieces. Uh, these bowls are $10 each. These cups and saucers are priced separately. The cups are $5.99 and the saucers are $3.99. Mm-hmm. And then this is $25. Um, I don't think that includes the base. It's all not about that base, about that base. Um, I don't think I want to go any farther back. There's an HVAC thing back here, which is making a lot of noise. So I'll turn around and go this way. Just looking at random things and a little price comparison, $17.95. Mm-hmm, on that. Uh, a lot of old tools there, knives, planes, model cars. That's not quite my speed. We'll go this way. All right, some Hoosier cabinet glass. This is the coffee container. That is $60. This little guy here, T, that is 65. Wow. And that's 35 for just that one. Wow. Uh, I said, wow. Okay. There's some sheet music. The Lady of Spain, the Prisoner of Love. Uh, I do love old sheet music, but I don't really have time to go picking through it today. What else can we look at? Oh, I don't know. Eh. What are these? Is this like painted metal or is it ceramic? Um, $49 pair of something England pilgrim mantle vases is that what it said yeah I guess okay and here is our friend the Scotty or a terrier I guess I just better say terrier and he used to hang uh, neckties or other things and he's 31 And this is a familiar pattern by Anchor Hawking, isn't it? And that says Fire King Cup and Saucer, $15 per cup and saucer. Hmm. It's a cute little creamer. That's $10. I see a pair of Aladdin lamps up there. 
Mm-hmm. Lay up a base. Northwood Carnival Domed Butter Dish, 135. And the Falstoria Square Cake Plate in the American pattern is 174. And that Carnival Glass is 45. I hope this is interesting to you for me to just review some prices and look at some of the pretty glass. I don't really do a whole lot with Crocs and things, but the Splatterware Croc is 65. There's a lot of this here. Is this contemporary stuff? And not, yeah, I would, well, I don't know. I don't know. Look at that. Is that old uh, Queen, Mary, uh, Queen um, Victoria? <laughs> No, I don't think so. Cheese dish, $75. Well, I guess it is. I usually I used to sing her dressed in black after, what's his name, died? Albert? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I probably got that completely wrong. Okay, two 1970s looking roosters or hens, $30 each. There's a whole bunch of Cape Cod by Imperial. Quite a bit of Faustoria American. Mm -hmm. And an old fan, hundred and, no, that's $75. Uh, and it's got problems. Yeah, it's, okay. Oops, it's got some issues. Ooh. How much is this little General Electric? That one's got problems too. The cage is just completely falling off of it. Um, and your guess is as good as mine. I guess that's a 65. All right. Uh, refrigerator set over there. Ooh. Turn around. Hello, thing. That's supposed to be in a mountain somewhere. All right, I can't look at books right now. Mm. I can't look at books right now. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, get down on the floor and what does it say? It says Fenton Bulb Vase, something, something, something signed, uh, $375. Very pretty. Allow me to keep zooming my camera uh, back into focus. $31 on the ball pitcher. Eh, you know, I'm always looking for things for my own, for my own, you know, I guess collections. Although I always say I don't, I don't really collect anything. Well, I guess I kind of do. Um, but I'm looking for things to, re to to turn around and sell as well. You know, sleepers that have value. That's what it looks like. It's called Antique World. And I'll put the address under the video. And I'll put the address down below. Woo! Okay, I just crossed into Tennessee. Well, at least that's what the sign said. I'll tell you what. Whew. These, this road is like wee 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 wee. Yeah, the sign said welcome to Tennessee and then it said look out for falling rocks. Ooh. The volunteer state. You gonna volunteer to get the rocks off of me? Something tells me I'm not in Jersey anymore. Don't they have snakes up here too? Anyway, it really is pretty. Now, in the highest of elevations, Eh, I don't see any leaves turning yet, but heck. Oh, whitewater rafting. Ooh. <sighs> Did I bring my trunks? Um, what does that say? Martha who? 
Martha somebody, State Forest? Okay. Anyway. Yeah, it, it's, you know, late September, so I'm not seeing any color changes yet. Maybe just a twinkle in the upper, upper, upper part. But my word, I don't think you, I should have the camera turned around. Because you can't see what I can see. But I'm keeping my hands on the wheel and on the road. Well, I uh, am about oh, 90 miles east of uh, Nashville, Tennessee. No, that's wrong. Knoxville, Tennessee. We'll see how far we get. Mm -hmm. Now you stay right there, Mr. Rock. Mm. It's really pretty up here.